I'm Gary McCann. I'm the set and costume designer of De Rosen Cavalier. The, the, the set serves three different acts in three different places, but it has a kind of unified concept behind the, the overall look of the show. We, we arrived very early at our, our idea, we, we, Bruno and I, the director. We came up with the, the idea of a kind of white box with really outsized ornate plasterwork um, inspired by kind of um, acanthus decoration from the Baroque period. And uh, yeah, we wanted to create something which is simultaneously modern, uh, uh, but also something quite historical looking. And so we've got this white box with a sort of illuminated LED strip around it, which contains this very heavy and ornate plasterwork. I work principally with 3D digital modeling, so I come up with computer sketches. Then we'll create a sort of 1 to 25 scale model so that the director can see the, how, the way the space looks in three dimensions and how furniture and figures work within it. Uh, then obviously there's a whole process of the construction and liaising with the builders. This was an interesting experience because we've got this, um, this very three-dimensional carving aspect to the design. Um, I requested a particular sculptor, a guy called Stephen Medcalf, with whom I'd worked before. And uh, so he and I collaborated on this project together and I knew that he would be able to deliver the sweep, the movement, the, the complexity of the shapes that I was imagining. I think we really wanted to kind of hit was the, um, the nuances in Viennese society and how the aristocrats view the nouveau riche, how they view the sort of the slightly down at heel country um, aristocrats. Uh, and that all we attempted to translate all of that into the set design. My style is somewhat to do with um, the com combination of styles where you're playing around with different time frames. Um, you know, the opera set in the 18th century, it was composed at the beginning of the 20th century. We're now in 2023. Uh, so there's layers and layers of time. Um, so for me, it's not particularly interesting to recreate one particular era. Well, it's viewed through a kaleidoscope of different um, periods. With, the, with this production, I've um, I've completely tried to create something that's really beautiful and I'm not apologizing for that. The music is extraordinarily lavish, the piece is extraordinarily moving and emotional and romantic and I feel that the production itself hopefully does the story and the music service in terms of creating something extravagant. It has these kind of 1950s baroque vibe to it um, and hopefully it transports people to, to a different place where they can enjoy the story and they can enjoy the music.